is up? This is Riddell from the Miss Bells Gaming Group, and today I'll be doing a little unboxing, actually my first little unboxing, slash review of the new Killzone. It's the sector from the latest Killzone, Sector Hunters. Um, that's Kill Team Killzone. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be opening this up and give a little quick review, I guess. And a little unboxing also. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's crack this open. Let's go see what's inside this bad boy. Well, to be fair, I already opened this just to be just to take a look at it, so I know what to say when I um do this little video. Um, so it's gonna be my first video, so I don't I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to keep it as short as possible. So uh, yeah, let's go see if you know. Um, let's check this out. All right. So like I said, I already opened this just so I I know what the contents are. Uh, like I know what inside it and then um, I know what to talk about kind of so actually it's a pretty heavy box um it's pretty big it's uh no surprise there Jimmy. all right so let's go see what's inside here and get the uh Little fluff for the uh, um, kill zone. Ooh, we have nice pieces of string. I mean, stuff's amazing. The, the details on this thing is just, just wow. It's, just really, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we got two sprues of the same one, seems like. Um, yep. So two sprues of the same one, same, these are the ruins, same. this one here, I think this is the big building, and then yeah, this must be the big building in the middle, um, it's pretty cool, well, like I said, the detail on these, on these terrain sets, I mean, this is it's beautiful, got a little uh, thingy here, go, um, I don't know what that is. Gas pipes, yeah, see the details on the, uh, I guess this is the roof, the catwalk and everything. It's the walls. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to putting this together. <coughs> Alright, and of course, you've got the double-sided board. Have a little desert theme, um, kind of like a western feel to the board. Um, it's pretty cool. Hmm, not bad. And of course, it's double sided too, but yeah. Like all other kill team boards, the same one here, the same side. Little city um, escape, I guess. But this is what it will come in. So we have this is the booklet. This is the uh, little, little fluff introduction, a little fluff, uh, fluff blurb on sector contours, and this is what it'll look like fully painted. Hmm. It's pretty neat. Um, of course, if we get the other um, expansions for this, I believe it's the um, Admech. Um, and the Jane Steeler cults that will come with extra terrain. 
Um, Cause I don't think is this all the terrain in the box? Cause if it is, damn. Actually, this looks for the price of this kill zone. I I, I got this on eBay for like seventy bucks. Um, just by looking at the content, so like it's so worth. It's so worth it. Um, it seems like so. I hope <coughs> all the terrain that comes in this box is depicted in this picture. I mean, if not, I could see like maybe you'd be getting, you'd be needing the uh, expansions from the uh, Admech, um, uh, Admech box or the Gene Stiller box to get the other set of terrain here. Um, Seems like you do get, and then these are the stuff that you get, it will come with. Um, of course, you got the environment table. You got the scenario cards that will come with it. That comes with it. You have four different scenarios. Can't wait to try these out. That's what you have here cover from the storm, a shootout. Desperate recovery and defend the settlements. Very westerny feel, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not gonna go over these because we'll just make this video too long. Um, so you got instructions for the book, how to put the uh, terrain pieces together. And last but not least, you got the tactics card for this terrain. So for You know what? You know, just give me a minute. I'll, I'll just take a very quick minute. I'll put the, all these together, and let's go see how it looks like fully built, or at least not fully built. Okay, so I cut up a few pieces here, um, just to try out the, how to assemble these terrain, and it really it does look. Like all I have to do is just um, slide it in. That's it. Like no glue really required to put these big sections of walls together. Um, you can glue it if you want to, but for easy transport and for like a little modular type of scenery, you could play around with how you want your setup to be. All I have to do is really just slide it in. That, that's it. This is it. And it's, it stays on. It's pretty neat. This is pretty damn cool. This is really cool. Good job, GW, for this one. No, I, I'm, I'm liking this. This is actually pretty neat. You can put them in any configuration you want. Look at that. And then, like I said, uh, like I mentioned earlier, for easy transport, to put in a little shoebox or <laughs> your cheap shoebox, a little storage case, and that's it. Um, I did some of the bigger pieces. So the one here. This is the big building. Um, so you take two sprues. The two sprues. The big. The, the, um, I believe it's this one. Yeah, so it's this sprue here with the big buildings, the big walls. So cut it up. Um, so putting these two together, you make that one big building. And then I want to see if this piece here, this you may have to glue if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but yeah, it just stays on like that. Um, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna fall. Oh, it might fall if you nudge it, of course. Um, I mean, if you just glue like that one side here, as long as you don't um, glue anything here, so, so just like that, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is actually pretty brilliant. Um, just for funsies, you know, it's just, just like fucking Lego. So this is actually pretty. This is actually pretty damn cool. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. That is so cool. This is so, so cool. Um, like literally, the, the, the possibilities on building the kill, uh, the kill zone is pretty much endless. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, it really does remind me of the Sector Mechanicus, or the, the terrain pieces that comes with, uh, um, 
no, shit, what is that called? Uh, Shadow War Armageddon. Um, that one's modular too, which is actually pretty cool. So yeah, I hope GW makes more modular terrain just like this. This is actually pretty damn cool. Um, I like this. I really like this a lot. Um, so yeah, let me. I'll wrap this video up and then let's go from there. All right, Sector Fronteras. Um, so if you're new to Kill Zone, uh, Kill Team, and you're looking for a Kill Zone to start off with, or if you're a veteran, 40k or Kill Team, and you want to expand your collection, this is pretty much well worth the your um, worth the buy. Um, you'll be getting the usual Kill Zone stuff like the cards. Scenario cards, additional scenarios you can play. Of course, you got the fluff players. Um, double sided board, which is pretty sweet. Standard 22 by 30. And the terrain. Um, it might not look much right now, like this is all, the, this is kind of all of it. But the, the selling point for this terrain is that the fact that it's modular. I mean, you can swap the terrain sets to make additional terrain, you know, um, let's see, um, this big one here, you can take it off, swap it out for another one, so it's pretty cool, um, it's pretty sweet, so yeah, not, you won't be. It doesn't look like much from what you're getting, but the fact that you can interchange these terrains is you'll be getting like so much more value out of this whole box. Um, I'm just having so much fun with this terrain. To be honest, it's like you can do so much with this. It's like Legos at this point. Um, that alone, that, that sell for me, it's, really, it's a great selling point. Um, any terrain that's kind of modular or you can just set up is a plus in my book. So yeah, for the price that you're getting, I think this skill zone is so worth it. And look, it all fits in a box. You know, the, same comes, the same box it comes with, you, know, you can put everything in there, it's easy transport. Everything you need to play the game, you know, it stores easily. You don't have to worry about buying a for cheap. You know, if you don't want to buy a container, you can just use the box. And it comes with it. everything. Everything will fit into it. Everything. Um, look at that. Look at that. Everything fits in this box. Just fold this out, and then bam. There you go. There you have it. So, Sector Frontiers, well worth the buy, so I would highly, so I highly, highly recommend this. Um, if you want to check us out, check out our gaming group, we, we put up more content there, like bad reps, some painting stuff, um, check out Limitless Fails at Facebook, or check us out, as in, check us out on Instagram, just type Lim Luke vs. Limitless Fails. Um, so, yeah, so that's it for today. I'm Del. Hopefully, I'll see you again next time for the next review. Um, I think I might be looking over, just going over in the new Kill Team Arena, maybe. Or I just got the uh, Rogue Trader, not the whole box, but just the terrain and the map. So I might, I might just go a quick overview on that one, just for content of our for the limitless fails. So yeah, thank you again. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.